Hey everyone, I'm back with another haul, and as you can see, I didn't clean my desk yet. <laughs> um, I got a few orders in that I want to share with you, and I do have some card shares. Let me show you the cards. These are um, two cards that I created using the stencils that I was playing with, and if you look at my two previous videos from this one, the one shows the haul from Waffle Flower. That's where these stencils came from for the stamp postage stamps um, and the die itself. Um, and then the stamping I did, not stamping. Yeah, I did stamping, of course, on top of the um, stenciled areas. Um, but these are the two finished cards. And I actually chose the colors of the um, stencils um, just based on what I wanted to create with. And then I went looking in my card stock um, for Christmas. And this was a paper pad that I got for free from scrapbook.com, I believe. This was included in one of my orders, I, I think. Because I wouldn't have ordered this, um, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think I ordered this for any purpose. I think it might have come free. I don't remember, though. So Paige Evans, 6x8. Um, what is it called? It's from American Crafts and it's called Sugar Plum Wishes. I might have ordered this because of the gingerbread cookies, but I, I'm not sure. So very bright colors um, that happen to match what I was going for here. So these are the two finished cards that I have. Um, and yeah. And oh, I just added these... Um, buttons here. These are flat back buttons that I have in my stash. Um, and I think the, um, the die for the sentiment actually is one long sentiment. I cut it in half so I could use one for each of the cards. Um, and the sentiment comes from the same stamp coordinating stamp set for the stencils. So it's one of these two here. Here it is. Um, the Christmas, um, postage stamp set. Okay. All right. So those are the cards. And so let's get to the um, haul. All right. So I ordered from the um, Impression Obsession release um, for July. And um, I think these are all dies from Anna White. Oh, and there's a stamp set in here. Okay. Um, so this is Sketchy Inside Out Heart. You can see here what you get. And it, you know, it'll die cut the stitching um, in the shape of a heart and it'll be a hole in your paper and then you'll get a separate piece that has a heart shape with stitching on the inside of it for both these two sizes and then here's a sketchy inside out star same thing as the heart but just in a star shape like a prim star um, and then this one is the small tags. So there we go. They're not they're not as small as some of the tags I do have. These are, I would call these like a medium size. I have lots of different size tags. Um, these are nice for sentiments and tying on to larger tags or what have you. And then I ordered the slide frame, which I think she said went out of stock. I don't even know why I ordered this one. I just thought it'd be fun to play with at a later date. Slide frame, which is quite a bit larger than an actual slide um, would normally be. Then I ordered the postage ones. So go figure. Um, Anna had done two sets um, of postage stamps. You can see here, you've got one here where you, could, you they're hooked together and then you've got two that are separated and they're not exactly the same. These are kind of wonky, I think. And these are your more your typical type of postage. These are a little bit bigger with the same type of idea. You've got two joined together and these are kind of wonky. Um, and then I ordered the um, stamp set from Jeannie. It's called Happy Mail. Um, it's got like the cancellation on it and stuff. And then you could put these inside of the postage stamps that um, the dies that I just showed you. I don't know why I had to have this. <laughs> um, but this is a little bit different than what I have. It's a little dis more, it's distressed rather than just your, you know, very clear postmark. 
So yeah, that's what I got from the Impression Obsession release. And then, as I said before, I had ordered more. Um, you can see a whole bunch here. Each one has a pack of three sets of four. I know that's a lot, right? And it's because I will um, use some for distress ink and then use the others for dye ink. I don't mix them together because it can clog your ink pad. So um, I ordered quite a few um, for stenciling um, of these smaller size bristles. And there's four different, four different um, brush heads here. And these come from Amazon. This four pack I think is $9.99, um, but you can order um, like just a single pack with four brushes if you want to try them out. And then you can order um, a two pack, I think. So um, it's good value because um, it's cheaper than some of the other sets that I've seen. So you can see I've got five packs there. Um, and all of them are the same. It's got the rose gold um, barrel, I think that's what it's called, and then the white handle. And there's no, there's no um, brand on any of it. Okay, so this is how they come. This is from Amazon, by the way. And I think I put the link in my video two videos back that has the haul of those originally. Um, from the stamp market, I ordered their new colors. These are the new colors. Um, I always order the um, sticker sheet because I use these for my paper um, storage. Let me show you. Um, so I use the job ticket holders. This is the fresh mint color and you can see the sticker here. This is what this is right here. So I just um, save myself some time and use these for for the labeling um so there's let's see eight colors eight new colors um and here's more candy from strangers um that's what i like to call it if you guys have watched me long enough so we've got meadow and lemon curd and um, then the rest kind of go together in like a color family so powder blue cerulean and cornflower and you can see the progression of the colors there uh, I'm sorry I can't show it to you correctly because my my desk is too messy so those are the three there and then the um, other three are soft berry tea berry and wild berry so you can see that how that also shows here um, it's interesting because this one right here doesn't look the same necessarily on the sticker here. So I don't know if the lid is going to be exact, but I'll stamp these out and see how they fit. I have a swatch chart that I use for um, for all of my inks. So, yeah. Um, so I actually ordered the bundle. And the bundle has the inks, the re-inkers and 24 sheets of paper that coordinate. I always do this when she puts out new ink colors. I don't even know how many she has now, but um, it's, quite a, it's quite a collection of colors. Um, so it's 24 sheets of each color um, inside the bundle, which is nice. So you don't have to add all these things separately to your cart. I don't know if you get an actual discount that way, but I, I like to do it that way because then I have plenty of cardstock and, you know, I've never had to re-ink yet, but um, I have it all if I need it. So I believe that's all that I have in my haul, um, but thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.